Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Miranda. I make fashion videos every single week. In today's video, we are talking about trends from 2022 that we can leave in 2022. These trends are dead, to me at least. You will not see these trends on me in 2023 or years to come. I'd love for you guys to sound off in the comments if you think that these trends will stay in 2023 or if they're dead or if there's other trends that you think will not be coming into the new year. First off, this isn't much of a trend, but I wanted to start with this one, is Shein. Can we just all collectively agree to stop supporting Shein? I am obviously guilty of shopping there before. I think everybody has, and I get that it's cheap and it's affordable and it's very fast fashion, so you can find some trending pieces. Realistically, thrifting is way cheaper. You have options as far as Poshmark and Depop to kind of like online thrift. You can find deals in other ways besides buying things from Shein. And the quality at Shein just is not good. You might pay $8 for this super trendy top, but you're gonna wash it one time and you're never gonna be able to wear it again. So Shein, let's leave that in 2022. That's my first one. <laughs> oh my God, I hope people agree with me on this one. Freaking Crocs. The fact that platform Crocs ever became a thing, like designer Crocs, like what the hell? Like if you wanna wear them for the comfort and the convenience of them as like a house shoe, or to go run errands when you don't feel like putting on a real shoe, sure, more power to you, I don't care. But for these to be a fashion statement, and then you add a little giblets or giblets or whatever, charms to your Crocs, I hate them. I hate them with every fiber in my being. I have flashbacks as a kid, like wearing these and getting the worst blisters ever from that little button that's on the side of like the sport mode strap. Like, <laughs> I just can't, I don't know. No thank you on the Crocs. Please leave Crocs in 2022. If this trend does die and it comes back in like 20 years, or 10 years, I'm not going to like them then either. And it's gonna be hilarious seeing kids and like the younger generation of that time wear Crocs if they be, if they come back like a lot of these trends do. Micro skirts, leave them in 2022. I just cannot walk around feeling that exposed. I just can't get behind these tiny skirts. I love a mini skirt, mini skirts are cute. I need to at least feel a little bit covered even if I'm wearing a mini skirt. But you know, it has to at least cover like one part, like the crack or the butt cheeks, I don't know. Preferably both, but at least one. I personally think micro skirts do not flatter me at all. So I could be a little bit biased. <laughs> they can be done in 2022. The next trend that I would love to leave in 2022 is cowboy boots. They are definitely having a moment right now this fall and winter, I know. Like I said in my other video where I talked about this, it gives me very much sorority girl at a tailgate because that's what I wore when I was a sorority girl going to a tailgate. And I'm not trying to relive those years, to be honest. I just think there's cuter options when it comes to boots. I don't think you ever need to wear cowboy boots. I have seen some that are kind of cute, but it's almost always when they're just paired with a dress and that just takes me right back around to sorority girl going to a tailgate. I'm not completely sure if the cowboy boot trend will die in 2022. I could definitely see it lasting, but for just following a trend, I just, I think there's other options of boots that you could buy that are also still trendy that you could make last in your wardrobe for way longer. What's gonna bite me in the ass is if I end up finding a cute pair of cowboy boots and then I buy them and then I wear them and then all of this makes no sense. But for right now, it's a no-go on the cowboy boots for me. I just think there's cuter options. If you're liking this video so far, I would love to ask you to click that thumbs up button. It really, really helps the channel. And I'm so, 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 so thankful for the support that this channel has gotten. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my videos and watching them and I hope you guys enjoy them. And if you do, seriously, a thumbs up and a comment down below really help my videos and really help my channel. So just a quick little reminder. Trendy, expensive designer bags. You guys have already heard me talk about the Balenciaga, Balenciaga La Cagole bag, which I think is childish. It just looks childish. It looks like I bought it from Limited 2. I personally believe that if you're gonna buy a designer bag and it's gonna be 
a thousand dollars two thousand dollars three thousand dollars that bag should last you a lifetime i don't think we should be spending thousands of dollars on trendy it bags that are literally only going to be cool for a year and then you're never gonna wear it again and you just wasted two grand. If you want to get bags that fit a certain vibe or a trend that you're going for, by all means do that. Find something vintage, thrift it, Poshmark, Depop. Just because you see some cool celebrity wearing like today's it bag does not mean you have to go out and spend $2,000 on it to be trendy and cool. You can be trendy and cool in other ways. You don't have to do that. Let's leave that in 2022. Next, skinny glasses. I actually love skinny glasses, but I am excited to see some bigger glasses coming around. I think if skinny glasses like really fit your face shape and they're like made for you and they look really good on you, you could probably get away with wearing them forever just because sunglass shapes and styles revolve so much. But seeing larger framed sunglasses come back in I know those just fit my face better, so I'm excited to get back into those. Oh my God, this next one, guys. Y2K jewelry. Like the DIY looking beaded necklaces, the chunky plastic like neon rings. They definitely had their moment this year and I hope that they go away in 2023. I do not like them. I think they just look cheap. And the fact that some of these jewelry pieces look like that and they are not cheap, is beyond me. If you told me that you wanted to buy them on Amazon for a 10 pack for 10 bucks, then go ahead. But like some of this shit is way too overpriced for what it is. Maybe it's because that's not really my style or my aesthetic. I just feel like it brings your outfit down. I don't know, is that too harsh? I'm not trying to be harsh. It gives me like elementary school arts and crafts, middle school arts and crafts. That's not the vibe I'm going for with my outfits, to be honest. So the Y2K jewelry, would love to see that left in 2022. I would love to see Y2K fashion as a whole left in 2022, but I know that won't happen. So there is little bits and pieces that I like that I try to incorporate into my personal style, like certain cuts and styles of clothing, not necessarily the entire trend, but I can, def I can get back into a little bit of Y2K, just not a lot. <laughs> this next trend that I think will be left in 2022 because I know I'm not the first person to talk about it, I think this is kind of a widely accepted thing, is like the sneaker hype like the Dunks and the Jordans. Trends move too quickly to constantly be keeping up with like the It sneaker and seeing how expensive these sneakers get marked up once they sell out and they're sold on the resale sites. I just think it's impractical. We saw it with Yeezys. We saw it with the Balenciaga sock sneakers. We definitely saw um, Jordans and Dunks and those kind of sneakers have their moment for the past couple of years. I feel like you just need to find a couple pairs of sneakers that you really like and that really fit your personal style that you can wear with all of the outfits that you have and just stick with those and be confident in your choices and your style and, and getting away from following every single sneaker trend. If you really like a, co a cool trendy sneaker at the time and you think you'll wear it after everybody is telling you that that trend is over, then you can do it. I feel like that's more justified, but if you know you're only gonna wear it while they're trending, I just think it's dumb to spend your money on that. Be confident in your personal choices and your personal style and find sneakers that match that personal style and that match whatever's in your wardrobe and stick with those. And if you wanna refresh them, every couple of years, then do that. But buying the new It sneaker every single time it changes is just excessive. Okay, last but not least, shackets. These had a huge moment last winter, beginning of the year. I owned a few shackets. I still see them around a little bit right now, but not nearly as much. I like shackets. I think they're cute. I just think they're, they were like so hyped up when they were a trend and I've just seen too many of them and they just seem super basic and boring to me now, really. They are a functional piece, a light jacket, a light layering piece. So they are nice for the colder months, but I think these are just gonna get left in 2022. I think they're, is way cooler jacket trends and coat trends circulating around right now that we've seen. And they're just kind of phasing the shackets out. But I could see shackets coming back around, you know, in years to come. So if you have a shacket that 
you really, really like. Maybe don't get rid of it. I could absolutely see these coming back, but I think for at least 2023 and the next couple of years, they'll probably be done for. Like I said, this video is totally just for fun. If you like any of these trends and you still want to wear them, by all means, wear whatever makes you happy. That should be the main goal, getting dressed every day and building your wardrobe. But you will not see me in any of these trends in 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your opinion on some of these trends. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.